I'm going to show you the easiest way to practice your trading setups with recorded videos. All right, now let's talk about why you might wanna record your trades and play some of them back later. This is all based on the premise of practice and visualization. Basically, your brain can't tell the difference uh, between something you actually did and something that you vividly imagined. And this is very prevalent in sports and health. And I found this good article here from David Hamilton, Dr. David Hamilton. And uh, if you wanna check that out, you can uh, look at his site. And he shows some brain scans uh, in a study where one group of people actually play the piano, they practice the piano physically. And then another group of people just practice playing the piano in their mind. And when he compares their brain scans, they're, they're the same, right? So you're essentially activating the same parts of the brain when you imagine something uh, and when you actually do it. So this is a very powerful way to get some practice in without actually having to go through the process of trading. And the same thing in athletics. He talks about uh, this woman who mentally practiced her hurdles and uh, you know, she said that uh, winning gold was 70% mental. And this is a common thing that athletes do. They visualize how they want to play before the game and it improves their, their uh, performance. So we can take the same concept and we can put it into trading where we can back test to practice trades. We can actually take trades to practice trades or we could possibly video uh, trades to practice trades, right? And these are three ways that you can increase the amount of practice that you get. And just like any other skill, trading is just practice based. It's all repetition. So when you can video your trades and you can play them back on the weekend or when the market's not open or, or when you don't have any trades, how much better will you get when you have you know, this additional practice? Whereas if you just waited around for the trades, you would get much less practice and usually you'll become a better trader when you have more practice. So let's take a look at this process and how to do it. First of all, I recommend starting off with just videoing your winning trades, right? You wanna establish what a winning trade looks like in your mind. You wanna practice that over and over. And creating a video for each of your trades does take some time, let's be honest. And if you can just cut your, your video production time um, basically, you know, almost in half, or it, depend, it depends on your win rate, right? Or which, which trades you wanna video. But if you only pick certain ones to video, then that'll keep your video production time really low and you'll get the highest ROI out of your efforts in this in doing this. So in this video, I'll give you a few options on how you can create some videos for yourself. I'll give you some free and paid options and show you how to use them to create these videos. Now let's start off by looking at an actual video, right? So uh, let's take this trade right here. So this one I have a recorded video for because there's a little play button here. So I'm gonna hit that. And this is what the videos look like. So the orange line is a level, a key level that I'm watching or a zone. And you wanna make this as close to the actual trading process as possible. So I'm marking off the trade. I am using a red line red horizontal line for the stop loss. I'm using a green horizontal line for the take profit. And there's a down arrow showing the direction and which candle on, on which candle I took the trade. Oh, and there's also a blue line there that um, shows the entry point. And as you can see, this loops over and over and you can just watch it without having to actually do anything. And if you can just envision yourself uh, taking this trade as a live trade, then that can go a long way to shortcutting your practice time. Okay, so you get the picture, right? So that's how, that's what these videos will look like. There are several different ways that you can create these videos. You can use whatever platform is comfortable for you. But in these examples, I'll use TradingView and MetaTrader because those are the most common uh, Forex platforms. But you can use whatever you want and uh, the, the process is basically the same. So let's get started with TradingView. So TradingView has this cool uh, replay feature, bar replay, and 
the way it works is that you can just scroll back on the chart to the point where your trade happened. Let's say that you took the trade at this zone here and you went short. So then what you would do is I would recommend starting the replay a little further back from the actual entry point just so that you can see some price action context around it. And this really depends on the trading strategy, right? But if you're trading price action, uh, then it helps to get a feel for what price action was like before the trade fired off. So this red line is where the uh, replay will start. So it starts back there. And then on the bottom, or there's this little control box here and you can just hit play and the, the bars will start to move forward. And then obviously at this point you will be recording with, ever, which, with whichever recording software you're using. And uh, let's see when price hits that level. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to enter there. So I would mark off a red horizontal line like this, and then make that red. And that's gonna be the stop loss. And then I usually mark the entry with a blue line like that. So I get a, a good visual reference of where I entered the trade and then Let's say that we set the take profit down here. So that's going to be a green line. And I also like to add a triangle so that I, I'm sure that I understand which way the trade's going. And these are just visual reference points that makes it easier to reference these trades later, right? Okay, so once that's in place, then you can hit play again, and then you can see the trade play out. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's going to hit, but it looks like it's going to hit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then you just pause it and then you would take the recording. Now, obviously that takes a little bit of time and I'll show you how to speed that up in a minute, but that's the basic process of it. So now let's take a look at how you would do this in MetaTrader. Okay. So this is MetaTrader. So it's a similar idea. You just scroll back to the point on the chart where you want to start recording. And I would suggest you do that a little bit before the trade opens. And then you will um, mark off the trade in a similar way. And then you can use F12 to move forward one by one candle. And that will allow you to uh, see how the trade or video how the trade worked out. And it's a similar thing. You can use the horizontal lines to mark the stop losses and the stop loss take profit and entry. And then you can use the uh, shapes to uh, or you can use the arrows also to show where you enter the trade. Right, let's say it was along here, uh, or it's a down arrow. So let's move that over here. Yeah, so you would put that there. And then same thing, you would just record it and then you would clear all the uh, drawings off and then you would record the next trade. Uh, so I think in MetaTrader you can right click and um, just remove all the objects. So you delete, delete, and then you would move on to the next one. And you can also do this with Forex Tester. Forex Tester is great for this because the markets, uh, you don't have to have a chart downloaded. You can just have the data on your, sitting on your computer and then you can uh, do a video of these previous trades and it works great for historical data because sometimes MetaTrader or TradingView won't have data from a certain year if it's really long ago. So using Forex Tester can be great for that. And it's a similar thing. You just start and stop the test and it runs like that. And then you just mark off the trades with the shapes and the uh, horizontal lines. So that's how you create the uh, video part or you, um, move the charts forward in order to create the video. But now let's take a look at actually producing the video and how that works. All right, so there's a lot of different software out there that can help you make these videos. I recommend ScreenFlow on a Mac, if you're using a Mac. And if you're using a PC, I recommend Camtasia. And those are the best two uh, software that I've used for this type of video editing. You could also use uh, Windows Movie Maker, which I found really glitchy, but it might work for these simple types of videos. And there's a whole bunch of other software out there. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you can use QuickTime uh, for free. That comes with the Mac OS and you can use that to record the videos and then you can put that into 
uh, you know, the default Mac movie editing program, or you can use ScreenFlow. I find ScreenFlow easier. Uh, but there's also on Windows, there's also a Xbox recording uh, tool that records your screen. It's supposed to be for games, but you can use it for this also, and that's free. It comes with Windows, and then you can you can look up whatever you can look up free video editing software and see what works best for you. But I like ScreenFlow, so we're gonna go at ScreenFlow. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do here is to resize the video. Make sure that all the important bits are in the video, right? And uh, you might want to include the price on the right, or you may not. That's totally up to you, but just center it in a way that works well for you so that you can see the important parts of uh, this video. And then I would actually recommend, whoops, uh, moving this so that the entire screen is inside of the, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe something like that. Uh, and let's shrink that a little bit and make sure we get all of the screen or all of the uh, chart in there. Okay, so something like that would be good. Okay, cool, perfect. And then you're gonna wanna trim the parts that you don't want. So in uh, ScreenFlow, you can just move it forward that way and then you hit W on the keyboard and then you can move this back and then let's say you want to trim it maybe around here oh, right there so you hit E on the keyboard and that trims it and now you have this video that's 18 seconds long but it really doesn't need to be 18 seconds long right and if you have too many too many of these videos that are uh, kind of long then it's going to take up a lot of time so what you can do is fast forward the the clip so in ScreenFlow you just hit alt and then you click and drag and then you can you know bring this down to maybe 10 seconds uh, which is much shorter and it will save you a lot of time when you're reviewing the trades and as you can see when you make when you speed it up it doesn't uh, take away from the quality or uh, actually visualizing the trades uh, so that's how you would speed it up and then you go to file export and then use export this movie and it ends up on your desktop and what you can do is put it uh, upload it to YouTube I find that's the easiest because it's free and then you can put a link in your trading journal or wherever you uh, you journal your trades and this is a good way to review the trade so that you can uh, practice it later on and again I would recommend just videoing your winning trades to begin with so you practice a good setup you know what a good setup looks like and if the trade that you're currently looking at doesn't conform to those good setups then you probably want to pass now if you have some time or if you can hire somebody to do this then maybe you can do your losing trades also so you can have a reference point or you can reference those videos and see what you are doing wrong uh, or, or what's what's the common denominator when it comes to losing trades and that might be helpful but I think videoing the winning trades only is the best way to go and the most time efficient way to go so I hope this video helped this is a great way to practice your trades without actually having to put the order in either in back testing or in live trading so this can really speed up the learning process for you I wouldn't recommend doing this straight away, like in the backtesting process. So uh, if you did this in the backtesting process and you do this for every single winning trade, it would take way too long to do them all. What you want to do is you want to get a quick and dirty, on your first round of backtesting, you want to get a quick and dirty evaluation of if the trading strategy will be profitable, number one, and number two, will it meet your goals? Once you can do that, then you can start to dig into uh, creating these videos and other optimizations, getting more stats on the trading strategy. But on your first round or even the first couple rounds, uh, you want to make sure that the trading strategy is going to be viable before you put in all this work, right? And then once you have a strategy that works, you forward tested it. And in forward testing, you create these videos also, assuming you're getting the uh, similar results. And then in live trading, you can do also do the same thing. 
with your live trades and your missed trades. So if you miss a trade, but it still looks like a classic setup that you would, you know, that uh, conforms to your rules, then you might want to take a video of it and then have that in your library, in your trading journal. And that's something that you can reference later. And this is a, just a way of compiling a ton of data, a ton of practice trades that you can go back to later and just, just run through them. Just keep watching them, keep watching them. And for some people, it can be more effective in screenshots because you're getting a good idea of the price action going in. And when you actually see the candles going up and down, that can give you a feel for what price is doing as opposed to just looking at a screenshot, right? And a screenshot can help some people. And you know you just have to figure out what works best for you. But uh, a video is closer to live trading results and that can help you a lot. So give this a try. You know, you don't have to do it for all of your trades. Just do it for a small number of trades, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then see how it works for you. See if it's helping you or not. It might not work. It might not help you. But if it does, then this can be a really easy way to practice your trades without having actually having to place trades either in demo or in backtesting. All right, I hope that helped. If you want links to these products, they're provided below this video. And if you found this video useful and you want to get more of my videos, hit the subscribe button below. And thanks for watching.